Welcome to Win My Shit. Uh, it's me, Patrick J. Riley, and this is a game show where you can win my shit. I haven't done one of these in a while, but it's my birthday, and I thought I would have um, head-to-head uh, to Kevin versus Josh. Kevin, how are you? I'm good. I'm eating some fried rice. Try to edit around it. Okay, I'll good. And, and, and Joshua, how are you? I'm freezing in the depths of hell. Good, 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 good. We're going to have a fun, fun time. I'm going to move my microphone. Happy real. birthday, though. Hold on. Hold on. Move my microphone. Repeat that, Joshua. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, it is also our friend Sam's birthday today. Well, today we're filming on Sam's birthday, but this yeah. isn't going to go out for another two weeks on my birthday. So right. Right. It's not about Sam. All yeah. right. Well, all right. Yeah. I have happy birthday, but that then it won't mean anything when I say happy birthday on your actual birthday. Yeah, well you that's that's fine. I'm going to I I, I I I was about to say something when I realized that uh I don't want to give away an answer for maybe a later question. All right. Um here's how this game works. It is uh uh trivia knowledge of things that I like. Um, some of these questions and answers are subjective and some of them are subjective, but they're mostly subjective. Am I okay. allowed to use the Playbill website? Did you are not that allowed that? to use Playbill, especially for round two. Oh. All right. So let's go with round one. You guys ready for round one? How do we buzz in? What are the rules? Um, as, as you scream as you have to scream as loud as possible. Uh, Zoom is selective, so it will only pick up whoever has the most dominance and that is how you win okay mm -hmm. you have to you use beta males for this game beta ma get yeah, yeah 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 i got i got i got two of the strongest cucks i know here we go round one too many mcus i'm going to name an actor or a character you're going to tell me who they play or who plays them first up and remember shout if you know the answer idris alba I'm dog. Point for Joshua. Number two, Abraham. Oh, I should have practiced this name. Abraham Erkine. Daniel Day Lewis. That's incorrect. Oh, that's Joshua, Do you have a guess? Abraham. I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you another hint. And and and, and Kev, you can you can guess again. Doctor Abraham Erkine. Oh, uh, Mordo. Baron Mordo. No. Is this the actor who happens to be a doctor and is wasting his training on... <laughs> I don't know. That's <laughs> this. The answer is Stanley Tucci. Stanley Tucci. He played Dr. Abraham Erkine in Captain America First Avenger. He creates the Super Soldier Serum. Kobe Smulders. Maria Hill. That's correct. Joshua. Two points for Joshua. Kevin. I Kevin. you're picking like C Squad from the like I'm aware of what I picked. Howard Stark. There's two answers. Dominic Howard Cooper. Dominic Cooper's one. Kev, do you know the other one? Um, it's uh uh Roger Serling. <laughs> Can I you know what? I'll there? give it a, I'll give it to you, Kev. You get you, John Shadow uh, Shannon Lee who played Roger Sterling on the oh, hit TV show Mad Men. So yeah. uh, uh Josh, you're like five points. Kev, you're at one. All right, here we go. Next one. Howard the Duck. Seth Green. Another point for Joshua. He's at six. Uh, I would argue himself. Like I'll give you a one. point. Kevin gets another <laughs> point for that one. All right. <laughs> can, can I also get an explanation for that? Hey, well, he's, he's, a, he's, a real, he's a real duck. He's a real duck. Yeah, it's like it's like when when like in Airbud, they're like and Buddy as himself or whatever. Yep, there it is, Kev. Yep, you get that one. And then uh, Andy Circus, uh, Andy Claw. Circus. Ulysses That's correct, Claw. Joshua. He plays Claw, Ulysses Claw. That's another point for Joshua. Kevin, I'm going to give you another Remember, point too because you look Inspector like Inspector Gadget's in the MCU. Inspector Gadget isn't in the MCU. Well, not anymore. Spoiler alert: he was killed. Oh God! Last one of this round. Matt Damon. Uh, he played an actor playing Loki. That's correct. He was actor Loki in Thor Ragnarok. So we walked out of this round with uh, 
Uh, Josh, 15. Kevin, 11. Oh, Kevin, great. 11. All right, here we go. Round two. You guys ready for round two? This is the one that I am most excited about. This is That's not true. Kevin's going to make a comeback, I think. I think I think Kevin's going to do well in this. I think Kevin's going to do well in this. That's um, going to pick some where it's like this never, this show never existed except in my mind. Everybody knows it. Close. You're very yeah, close to what I round two is. I round two. You've heard every show that he's come up with. Round two. Broadway flops. Guess the amount of performances. All these shows ran less than 50 performances on Broadway, not including previews. Price is right rules without going over. Who is the closest to guess how many performances this show ran? Not including previews. So this is just actual performances. You guys ready? Yes. I'm going to give you the name of the show, the year, and if you need, a little bit of a description. All right. The first one is Carrie from 1988. 32. Okay. So you said how many, Josh? 14. Uh, Kevin? 32. The answer was five. No one gets that point. The answer was five. 1981's Merrily We Roll Along. Stephen Songheim's biggest flop. Nope. Stephen Songheim's second biggest flop. His biggest flop is later. Merrily We Roll Along, 1981. Joshua, what is your guess? 12. Kevin? 13. Kevin gets it because it's 16. Point for Kevin. The musical Glory Days, Glory Days from 2008, ran at the Circle and Square Theater. 21. 21. One, one performance, Joshua? Sure. It ran for one performance. Congratulations, Joshua. You get the point. You know what? Since you got the exact number of performances, you get two points. Going forward, that is the rule. Here's the next one. 1981's Bring Back Birdie, the Broadway sequel to Bye Bye Birdie. Starring Cheetah Rivera reprising her role 30 years later. How many performances? Six. Zero. The Joshua, you're gonna get it because the answer is four. <laughs> four was my instinct, but I was like, I'm just gonna go zero because there's probably a bit one in here. Yeah, no, I, never that, made it. I, I almost I no, I almost did, but then because I said no, including previous, because there's a few shows that have famously closed. Um, before they open. All right. Uh, here's the next one. In honor of the of the passing of the loaf, uh, the meatloaf. Uh, meatloaf starring turn in Rockabye Hamlet in 1976. How many performances did that run? Uh, we'll go with, we'll, let's start with Josh. Joshua, go ahead. 10. 10, says Josh. Kevin. I'm going to say three. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to give Kevin the point because it's seven. Seven performances. Meatloaf's starring turn. All right, here it is. Steven Songheim's biggest flop, Anyone Can Whistle, from 1964. How many performances? Starting with Joshua. 25. 25. Kevin? 19. 19. So I said this is his biggest. Earlier on, I said his second biggest was merely a row along with 16. You both went over 16. 26. 26. And Kevin? 16. The answer is nine. Nine performances. Homosexuals. All right, here we go. Next one. Uh, one of uh, the most influential musicals of all time. Three Penny Opera. Bertolt Brecht's Three Penny Opera. The original production in 1933. How many, pro how many performances did that run? Three. 31. One for each penny. One for each penny. You say 31, uh, Kev? 31. The answer is 12. Joshua gets the point. And the last one in this category, uh, based on the MGM movie musical classic, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers opened in 1982. How many performances? Joshua? 21. 21. Kevin? 17. The answer is five. The answer is five. So we go out of that. Joshua, you have 49 points. 49 points. And Kevin, you're at a cool 34. All right. All right. This round here is going to be the visual round. 
I am going to send you guys a link. I would like you to open it. They are numbered. And when I say the number, look at it. And then when we go in turn, uh, I would like you guys to tell me um, what celebrity do you think this is? I put uh, a celebrity's name in an AI generator. This is what they think that celebrity looks like. Here is the first image I'm showing everyone now. The first image. Take a look at that first image. When you guys think you have it, please raise your hand. Let me know. Go ahead, uh, 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 Joshua. Lady Gaga. Joshua, that's correct. That is Lady Gaga. Oh, wow. That is yeah, Lady. Gaga. Yeah, that's Lady Gaga. Gaga. I, I, I don't know. Um, I honestly thought that looked like Janice from the uh, Electric Mayhem. Here's number two. Give everyone a second to look at number two. Go ahead, uh, Joshua. Gene Wilder. Good guess. Good guess. It's not Gene Wilder. Uh, Kevin? Mel Brooks. Okay. Um, all right. Good guess. Uh, this, this one, I think, is just fucking bonkers. I typed in the name Robert Pattinson, and that is what it gave me. Uh, I don't know who they think Robert, Robert Pattinson is. Very famous actor. All right. Oh, this yeah. last one, I think, is very easy. So click on the last one. Oh, Here's the last uh, image, everybody. Uh, we're going to give everyone a second to look at it. Kevin, why don't you start? Kevin, why don't you take the first guess? Ringo Starr. Kevin thinks Ringo Starr, and Joshua knows it very easily. <laughs> yeah. Josh, it's, who is it? it it's uh, one of your favorite people in the world. It is. Patty Lapone. Patty Lapone. Joshua, you got two points there. Kevin, I'm going to give you a point. All right, so that brings right. our total right now going into. <laughs> oh, there wasn't more to that sentence. Going into the third, guys, please, excuse me. Going to the third round, get a nice spoonful of sugar there, Kev. Uh, going into the third round. Good, good. Going to the third round, we have Joshua with 57 points and Kevin with a cool 42. 42. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't know if you notice these are three things that are. Uh, th three three categories that I, uh, things that I love. First category, of course, being comic books. Second one being musicals. And the third thing is something that I'm also known for, my love of U.S. presidents. So here we go. Uh, I, I combine them, though. Not just the love of uh, U.S. president, but the love of animals and pets. These are presidential <laughs> pets. I'm going to name a president and the name of their pet. You have to tell me what animal that pet is. All right? Here we go. First one's easy. It's a softball. Remember, this one is back to yelling. If you know the answer, say it as fast as possible. And you get the point. Andrew Jackson and Polly. Parrot. Kevin gets a point. Oh, really? Yep. He was. Oh. Yep. Apparently, he was racist and and boring because that was his. That was his big like. Oh, I, was, I got a parrot. You know, and famously, the parrot. Learn how to say the N-word. All right, moving on. Theodore Roosevelt and Bill the Lizard. Iguana. Iguana, nice guess, Kevin. Um, go ahead, uh, Joshua. Did you get my name for a second? I did, yes, because I was so I was I was about you to call you Bill. Friend. I'm honestly about to look you in the eyes and go, Bill? Bill the Lizard. Uh, a cat. You know what, Josh? You are you're you're wrong, but so this is not a lizard. Bill was a horned toad, which is an amphibian, which is a different thing. Theodore Roosevelt, you know, for all that nature conservation, what a fucking idiot. Uh, here we go. That the only reason Roosevelt is on Mount Rushmore is because he's the one who paid for it. Because what a yeah. dumb, big yeah. tooth bully man. <laughs> Carried a big stick. Abraham Lincoln and Jack. A mouse. Not bad. Guess. A rat. Terrible guess. Terrible guess. It was a turkey. How was a mouse a good guess? <laughs> because it was outside the box a bit, you know? All right, last one. Warren G. Harding and Pete. Uh, a teapot. Incorrect. A stink. Incorrect. Also, it was a squirrel named Pete. 
a squirrel named Pete. Kevin says you're the only one getting out of that round with a point. I'm going to give you 29 points. Oh, Joshua, cool. that ties you both at 62-62. All right, here we go. Last question. It is my birthday. My birthday show. This is subjective. I would like you both to take a moment and answer this question. And whoever gets closest wins the game. What do I consider a perfect birthday? Double featured or triple feature at the movies. Joshua. Smoking weed on the couch while watching an animated feature and your family's nowhere to be seen. Joshua, incorrect. Kevin, you're closest. Kevin, you're, you are closest. Perfect birthday for me. Thanks for asking. A perfect birthday for me would be tickets to a theater event and possibly a movie beforehand. That's it. That's what I'm doing on my birthday. That's oh. what I'm doing probably right now when you're at home watching this. A movie. So, I don't know yet. Oh, probably Jackass 4. And then most likely going to go see the tap dance kid. I feel like they really work well together. <laughs> you know, nothing says uh, city center encores like Johnny Knoxville getting hit in the nuts. Well, guys, this is a uh, win my shit. Uh, tell them what they want, Patrick. Well, Patrick, today contestants are walking away with T-shirts that I've made that you can buy on Threadless. Uh, there are a lot of designs, and most of them are good. Thank you, contestants. It's a pre-recorded video. Oh. That's right. They went home with that. Thank you so much for playing. Uh, win my shit. Uh, it is my birthday, so please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, Kevin Frolix uh, has a new album out. It's called... Oh, fuck. Um, Kevin Frolix, my best friend, has a brand new album out called Homemade Nonsense that you can get on all streaming platforms with such wonderful songs as... Bad Lyrics, F. Scott Fitzgerald, January 7th, 2022. That's the release date. That is release date. That's okay, release. guys, thank you so much. And Joshua McDougal, uh, stream sometimes and now underscore showing. And also, it's making candles. Yeah, I'm also doing homemade nonsense. I'm making candles. He's making candles. He, Josh, Kev, I haven't told you this yet. Josh is doing some fun. He's making candles inspired by board games. Oh, yeah, that you can light while you play. Well, guys, thank you so much for playing. And uh, everyone just wave. And this is uh, the, and then that's the end of the one. Are there credits? No, no, don't talk. Don't talk. And hold on.